Hello viewers, this is Mahmoud Azhar Islam Gwee from Benishka Gwee Bishwantar College of East Coast Online School. Welcome to our online school. And today we will discuss an important lesson of class line. Nine English for today. Unit one, lesson two. Unit one, lesson two. And we see a picture here. And we see a picture here. And we know who is this. And we know who is the person. So he is the greatest person, he is the greatest man in Bangladesh and who declared the independence of Bangladesh and he is our father of the nation, Bangabundu Chef Mujibu Rahman. And we know When he declares the independence, seven March nineteen seventy one, and after nine months, it struggle, Bangladesh became independent country, and during the Liberation War, Bangladesh was in jail in Pakistan, the then Pakistan, and he returned Bangladesh on 10th of January, and this is the tale of homecoming, the tale of homecoming, and the lesson, today's lesson is the tale of homecoming. The tale of homecoming, and to see the pictures here, and we know uh, in our English textbook before the lesson, before going to the main topic, here are some questions, and the question, the first question is, what do you see in the picture? What do we see in the picture? And the answer, maybe in the picture we see Bangabundu Sheikh, father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and some other men around him. And there are so many crowds, so many people around Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and the he is in on the jeep and the other men were chanting slogans. Number two, who do you identify in the picture? Who do identify in the picture? Who identify that this is Bangabundu? Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, when he returned to Bangladesh from Pakistan jail on 10th January 1972. Number three, do you find any connection between the picture and the title of the lesson? How? Yes, yes, we find many connections between the picture and the title of the lesson, the tale of homecoming. And we know the father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, when was in jail in Pakistan, and after nine months struggle, Bangladesh became independent, and then the Pakistan ruler
ഒരു നമ്മൾ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ വൺ വാട്ട് ഡു യു സി ഇൻ ദ പിക്ചർ ഐ റിപ്പീറ്റ് വു സി ഇൻ ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ വൺ ദ പിക്ചർ ഇൻ ദ പിക്ചർ നമ്പർ വൺ വു സി ദ ഫാദർ ഓഫ് ദ നേഷൻ ബാമാൻ സ്റ്റെമിങ് ഓൺ എ ജീപ് സറൗണ്ടിങ് വിത്ത് മെനി പീപ്പിൾ അറൗണ്ട് ഹിം Number 2 who do you identify in the picture In the picture we identify the father of the nation Bangladesh Roman with many people around him while returning to motherland Bangladesh Do you find any connection between the picture and the title of the lesson how Yes we find many connection between the picture and the title of the lesson as during the liberation war bangabandhu was in jail in dadan pakistan and after the independence of bangladesh he returned to motherland bangladesh on 10th january 1972 this is the picture of bangabandhu's from kamin i repeat we find many connection between the picture and the title of the lesson as during the liberation war bangabandhu was in jail in the then pakistan and after the independence of bangladesh he returned to motherland with bangladesh on 19 on 10th january 1972 this is the picture of bangabandhu's from kanu now Let's try to put on some vocabulary and the meaning of this vocabulary. Captive, captive means prisoner. Captive, prisoner. Captive means prisoner. Synonymous, synonymous means conterminous. ground 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 means supreme immense 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 use use immense means use epic 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 means heroic story heroic story epic means heroic story epic means heroic story obligation obligation means duty obligation means duty genocide 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 means mass killing genocide means mass killing trial 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 bring under law trial means being under law capital punishment capital punishment death punishment capital punishment means death punishment i repeat captive prisoner synonymous conterminous ground supreme immense huge epic heroic history obligation duty genocide mass killing trial bring under law bring under law capital punishment death punishment in the item number c we should work in pairs the following i can write on the blank spaces how you would express this word or phrases in your own language and then make sentence with them capital punishment capital punishment we know capital punishment means death punishment capital punishment means death punishment and we can make sentence with this word with this phrase capital punishment bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman was imprisoned in a small cell in pakistan for capital punishment 
বঙ্গবন্ধু শেখ মুজিবুর রহমান ওয়াজ ইন্টেলিজেন্ট ইন আ স্মল সেল ইন পাকিস্তান ফর ক্যাপিটাল পানিশমেন্ট অ্যাওয়েট উইথ লিস্ট মি অ্যাওয়েট উইথ লিস্ট মি অ্যাওয়েট উইথ লিস্ট মি মিন্স ওয়েটিং উইথ মোর ইন্টারেস্ট ওয়েটিং উইথ মোর ইন্টারেস্ট সো উই ক্যান মেক সেন্টেন্স অ্যাওয়েট উইথ লিস্ট মি After the independence, the whole world was awaiting witlessly to witness Bangabundu's homecoming. Await witlessly means waiting with more interest. After the independence, the whole world was awaiting witlessly to witness Bangabundu's homecoming. Emotional affairs. Emotional affairs. heart touching issues emotional affairs means heart touching issues so we can make sentence with this fresh emotional affairs in the early afternoon on 8 january 1972 bangabundu called dhaka and talked with his family at the antaguid the conversation with them were emotional affairs I repeat, emotional affairs means heart-touching issue. In the early afternoon on 8 January 1972, Wangabundu called Dhaka and talked with his family and targeted them. The conversation with them were emotional affairs. Immense views. Immense views. Immense means views. The liberation of Bangladesh gave Bangabundu an immense future. The liberation of Bangladesh gave Bangabundu an immense future. Touch poetic, touch poetic, touch poetic means sensitive feeling, sensitive feeling. Bangabundu's, Bangabundu's opening words at crowded news conference at Clarigis. was it such poetic bangabundu's opening words at crowded news conference at clarigis was a such poetic unbounded joy unbounded joy unbounded joy means great pleasure great pleasure so we can make sentence with unbounded joy The freedom of Bangladesh gave Bangabundu an unbounded joy. The freedom of Bangladesh gave Bangabundu an unbounded joy. Genocide, genocide, masculine. Genocide means masculine. Genocide is an international crime. Genocide is an international crime. Now talk about the questions. I can remember the that we should we can talk about the questions below what made bangabundu so bold while in prison while in prison nothing would stop the bangalis to gain independence made bangabundu so bold while in prison nothing would stop the bangalis to gain independence made bangabundu so bold I repeat, what made Bangabundu so bold while in prison? While in prison, nothing would stop the Bangalese to gain independence made Bangabundu so bold. How did time change in Bangabundu's life within the nine months in a Pakistan prison? How did time change in Bangabundu's life within the nine months in the Pakistan region. Time changed in Bangabundu's life within the nine months in a Pakistan region with little hope to return. But we believe nothing could stop Bangalis. I repeat, how did time change in Bangabundu's life within the nine months in Pakistan region? 
time change in Bangabundu's life within the nine months in a Pakistan region with little hope in return, but he believed nothing could stop Bangalis. How did London welcome Bangabundu? How did London welcome Bangabundu? London welcomed Bangabundu by publishing news of his arrival, which quickly spread to all, including journalists, general publics, British officials, politicians, and Bengali residents. I repeat, how did London welcome Bangabundu? London welcomed Bangabundu by publishing news of his arrival, which quickly spread to all, including journalists, general publics, British officials, politicians, and Bengali residents. Number four, do you agree with the statement that Bangabundu was excited as well as relieved from long anxiety in London? Why? Why not? Yes, I believe because he was the leader and disclaimer of the independence of Bangladesh and he loved his country as well as his people even than his life and his strong belief and courage made Bangladesh free from Pakistani rule and he got liberty for the sake of Bangladesh and Hindi Boromar. I repeat, the question is, do you agree with the statement that Bangabundu was excited as well as relief from long anxiety in London? Why? Why not? Yes, I believe because he was the leader and disclaimer of the independence of Bangladesh and loved his country as well as his people even than his life and his strong belief and courage made Bengalis free from Pakistan, Pakistani rule and we got liberty for the sake of Bangamundi, said Mujibur Rahman. I think if we must look some points of Bangamundi homecoming and this is the, these are the high, highlights topics so some points of Bangabundu's homecoming, homecoming. Bangabundu left London for Dhaka on the 9th January beginning in 1972. I repeat, Bangabundu left London for Dhaka on the 9th January evening in 1972. He addressed a public rally and mesmerized everyone in Delhi on 10th January. Repeat, he addressed a public rally and mesmerized everyone in Delhi on 10th January. He delivered a grand speech on the race course Maidan. He delivered a grand speech on the race course Maidan on 10th January at noon, remembering the sacrifices of Bengalis having made in the war against Pakistan. Bangabundu made his way back to his family. Bangabundu made his way to back to his family at the house in Dhanmundi, road number 32, for the first time after the independence. I repeat this point again. Bangabundu left London for Dhaka on the 9th January evening in 1972. He addressed a public rally and mesmerized everyone in Delhi on 10th January. He delivered a grand speech on the race course Maidan on 10th January at noon, remembering the sacrifices of the Bengalis having made in the war against Pakistan. Bangabundu made his way back to his family at the house in Dhanmundi, road number 32 for the first time after the Indian 
Now we can mess words or phrases and make it simple straight word. On the way. On the way. Stop over. Mesmerized. Wholeheartedly. Karma. Hold of newsmans. To most eyes. Military janta. In tuned. So, on the way. This is the fresh. And this phrase means on the way in course of journey. On the way means in course of journey. Ishtobhavar. Ishtobhavar means rest for some time. Ishtobhavar, rest for some time. Mesmerized. Mesmerized means hypnotized. 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 Wholeheartedly from the heart. Wholeheartedly from the heart. Wholeheartedly means from the heart. Karma means area from which planes take off at an airport. Karma means an area from which planes take off at the, an airport. Hold of this man. Hold of newsman means a group of journalists or newspapers reporters. Hold of newsman means a group of journalists or newspaper reporters. To moisturize, to moisturize, to fill eyes with tears. Military janta, a group of army personnel who rules a country. Military janta means a group of army personnel who rules a country. Intoned, intoned means uttered. Intones means uttered. Let's see some example of these phrases. I met him on the way to school. I met him on the way to school. We should stop over after walking some time. We should, we should stop over after walking some time. A good teacher can mesmerize his students in, his, in the class. A good teacher can mesmerize his students in the class. I study wholeheartedly. I study wholeheartedly to make good results. We should wait for the plane in front of the tarmac. We should wait for the plane in front of the tarmac. We can see hold of this man in a rainy. We can see a hold of this man in a rainy. She must get her eyes. She must get her eyes while expressing her feelings. She must get her eyes, eyes while expressing her feelings. We have experienced the rules of military janta in our country. We have experienced the rules of military janta in our country. I intoned a poem. I intoned a poem. We should wear warm clothes in winter heat. We should wear warm clothes in winter heat. Now mess. We should we can mess some sentences with the other parts of the text. Dreams comes true. Dreams, dream comes true. Dream comes true. He had a grand homecoming on the door of the earthquake of a Bangamu appeared. Oh, the sweet home. Oh, sweet home. Bangamu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman made his way back to his family who had been waiting for him at the house in London, the road number 32. Days behind 
the balls. This days behind the balls. He was taken to Pakistan as a captive and imprisoned there in a small cell for capital punishment until 7 January 1972. Go goodbye Pakistan. Goodbye Pakistan. Bangundu left Chaklala Airport in Rawalpindi from where he would fly to London. The hero before the world world peace. The hero before the world peace. In the early in the morning of 8 January 1972, Bangundu arrived at Hartlow. Airport news of Bangabundu's arrival in London spread quickly. Journalists, the general public, British officials and politicians, and Bengali residents in the city made their way to Hotel Claridges. Tribute to genuine friends, remembering the sacrifices of Bengalis had made in the war against Pakistan. We have been worthy. Mujib told the jubilant crowd that the poet had been proved wrong. Come back, O poet, he intoned dramatically, and see how your Bengalis are today transformed into men. I repeat, we have been worthy. Mujib told the jubilant crowd that the poet had been proved wrong. Come back, O oh poet, he intoned dramatically, and see how your Bengalis are today transformed into men. Hint of a long waiting, the comet aircraft made available to Bangabundu by the British government landed in Dhaka. Hint of a long waiting, the comet Comet aircraft made available to Bangabundu by the British government landed in Dhaka. Tears of joy, tears of joy, Prime Minister Tadudin Anwar then moved forward and buried his head in his leader's chest. Both men, both men broke down, both men broke down. Tears of joy, Prime Minister Tadukin Ahmed then moved forward and knew it his head in his leader's chest. Both men broke down. Now let's see a timeline of incidents, incidents of Bangabundu's homecoming. A timeline of incidents of on Bangabundu Sankani. One, Bangabundu left Chaklala Airport in Rawalpindi in the evening on 7 January 1972. Two, while in London, Bangabundu had a long conversation with the then Prime Minister Tajuddin Ahmed as well as his family members. Three, Bangabundu left London for Dhaka on the 9th January evening in 1972. 4. Bangabundu arrived at Dinli Palam Airport, Dinli's Palam Airport in the evening in the morning of the 10th January. 4. 5. The Comet Air kept made available to Bangabundu by British government landed in Dhaka at 1.30 pm on 10th January 1973. So, this is in the, the lesson, and that there is some the homework for the learners and viewers. And this is the suppose you are some journalist interviewing government in at that time, make a list of questions that you could have asked him. And I can to do you agree with Bangabundu is that Bengalis have become worthy now, just if I your argument in 200 words. These are the questions 
for your for homework for our practice so this is the end of the lesson today's lesson thanks all thank you very much for watching